Hi everybody, thanks for joining me for another tutorial on I Breathe I DIY. I'm Betsy. Today we're going to be making cat shelves, which is a highly requested DIY. Now you can tell that I've already put up a section of the shelving running up by my ceiling. Now this is approximately 12 inches from my ceiling so that there's plenty of clearance for adult cats to scooch through. The first thing that I had to do was take all of the photos and pictures and clocks and mirrors off the wall remove the screws and nails, and then I'm just going to go ahead and run through and patch up my walls with some joint compound. Now while this dries, I'll be putting up the shelves, and once it's dry, I can lightly sand it down and then use touch-up paint on it. I'm using my stud finder to locate the studs inside the wall, and then I'm marking it with blue tape. I'm going to make sure that all of my brackets end up in a stud and not just in the drywall so that as my cat grows and he's bouncing off of these shelves, he doesn't get hurt. Any shelf that you put on the wall, regardless of whether or not it's going to have a cat on it, has to be securely on the wall. If for some reason you can't find a stud, you have to install a molly. We're not going to be going over that today. That'll be another DIY. After locating all the studs, I figured out where I want to put my shelves, and I measured for those. I measured them approximately 16 inches apart from top to bottom, so that there's plenty of headroom. The shelves we're installing today came from Ikea. I love how low profile these brackets are and how easily this whole system went together. These brackets came in a package of two for around $10, which is much, much less expensive than what I was finding at my local box improvement store. If you're making a longer shelf, as I've done here, they have pieces that serve as middle brackets that are purchased individually. To complete the shelf, I had to cut a small section of the melamine shelving and then attach the end bracket to the stud. These shelves are very slick. You may want to apply some carpeting or burlap or another material for grip on the top side of the boards before you completely put them into the brackets. You can tell that I laid out where the rest of my shelving is going to go with blue painter's tape. It took a couple of tries and I moved it around once to get the right layout so that my cats could very easily get onto the shelves and then also be able to continue up. I attached the brackets to the wall in the corner on the studs first. Then I measured the sections that I needed to cut out of my shelving and cut them. And then to put the other bracket up, I used my level and made sure that the shelf was very level before I attached my second end bracket. Now these and any other shelves need to be secured to the actual bracket. These came with little holes in the bottom where you could put little screws in to attach the shelf to the bracket so it doesn't bounce around. I chose to attach all of mine once I was finished with everything and was sure that I wasn't going to need to rearrange any of my shelves. I attached the rest of the shelving to the wall using the exact same technique. I just moved my blue painter's tape a little bit so I could get a bracket up. And then I pulled the tape off, put the shelf in, put the other bracket up to the wall, and then I could level it and screw it in. When I put these brackets on the wall, I make sure that I only put the top screw into the bracket first so that I can still move it around a little and get it level. Then once I've attached the other bracket to the wall on the top as well, I go through and I put the additional screw in the bottom of the bracket to hold it firmly in place. I really like how these shelves turned out. I hope this has shown you just how easily you can put up shelves for yourself. I'm Betsy and thank you for joining me for another I Breathe I DIY tutorial.